All right, well, here's a shot of all of the parts. Um, Penny to give you a little, uh, little size, to, uh, give you a little uh, perspective. And uh, so, uh, all right, we're gonna get started, and we're gonna um, gonna start putting this thing together. All right, well, the engine's completed, um, got it running. Right now this is running on approximately just under 5 PSI. Um, as you can see, it does have a little bit of vibration to it. Um, let me bring it up to 10. All right, right now that's running at about 10 PSI. in the frame here. So, um, alright, it wasn't too bad of a build. Um, let me shut this off for a minute. Um, talk about one thing. Um, if anybody wants to build one of these engines, um, a real critical uh, adjustment is the position of this yoke on the piston rod. Um, as you can see, when the when the crank is in the forward position, the, the skirt of the piston is actually sticking out. Um, so when I first assembled it, it just didn't look right. I just went ahead and bottomed out the piston pretty much and tightened it down here but um, that's not the spot that that the timing is not right there so you just keep keep playing with the position on this and um, you'll find that sweet spot where it wants to run and um, like I say uh, that's uh, a little bit more air pressure in there and um, that's where it wants to run so, um, alright, I hope everybody enjoyed this, and um, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you uh, give me a thumbs up, or give me a comment or something, or better yet, uh, subscribe and uh, maybe tell some of your friends. So, um, once again, thanks for watching, and um, hope to see you guys soon.